Welcome back to another episode of Vash Reaction. Today we got Vinny Two Top Ten Most Anticipated Enemy of Fall 2022. I already, I'm gonna be honest with you. I already know my top two. Um, Bleach Thousand Year War Blood Art. Can't wait for that. I heard Disney got the streaming rights. Ah, we gonna be saying I'm saying welcome to Disney Channel and Chainsaw Man, bro. Can't wait for that shit to come out, bro. So we gonna get right into the video about Vinny Two. Love Vinny Two. I always watch him when the comes. When he always drops some anime knowledge, anime, anime, anime. Yeah, but I've been busy with school. I haven't really been uploading like that. But I'm back and I'm better. Let, let's go. It's easy to say that this has been a year Peak. of ups and downs. Mostly downs in the real world. But oh, my cycle coming back too, y'all. Everything's been looking up. Case in point, smash hits that we've all had the Ooh, pleasure hot. of seeing. As well as the full. continued rise of anime's popularity. Mm -hmm. Will fall 2022 be able to maintain the momentum that spring and presumably Bruh. summer will leave us with? That is what we're talking about today. And in case you're wondering what... Fall 2022 anime is going to be the best year of anime. The best season of anime. What kind of shows to pick up for the last quarter of the year? Perhaps this list can help you make your choice. Here are what I think are the top 10 most anticipated titles this fall 2022. Starting out this list is Reincarnated as a Sword. A sword? I thought it was Slum! We've seen people reincarnated Wait. as all sorts of things in the world of Wait. anime. But how about a the fucking Isekai? What's up with all these Isekais? Bro, please tell me if, if any Isekai is good. Please. I don't want to just go off my stupid ass opinion, but okay. I seen Konosuba. I consider that Isekai. That's fucking hilarious. I seen ReZero. I consider that the Isekai as well. That's fucking amazing. Please let me know if any more Isekai is good. You know what? Drop me some Isekai down in the comments. And I will watch and give my this full blatant reviews. This is certainly some new horizons for the isekai genre, and it does actually lead to some interesting results. Our protagonist finds himself waking in the middle of a forest of beasts, and he of encounters he the cat is. girl Fran, saving her in the process. Bearing a heavy past of persecution, Fran longs for freedom and revenge, and this encounter with a sword turns out to be the major turning point in her life. With a new partner in hand, she embarks on a journey of redemption. The enemies the are many, but the sword. two will also need to learn and accept each other to survive in their perilous journey. How will this formidable team Team of Fran and the new reincarnated as a sword. against the challenges in the adventure wow. ahead. Let's join the strongest duo's adventures this October 2022. Reincarnated as a sword. Yurosei Yatsura gives us a blast from the Here past in the night. Never heard Here's an old school show that I didn't expect to get a remake. Rumiko oh, Takahashi's first manga gets the remake treatment, and it's one that fans haven't necessarily asked for, but do welcome with open arms. The story's about the pervy Ataru and this encounters with alien invaders known as Oni. Sent to represent humanity in a duel against the Oni, Ataru manages to win against the alien's representatives, Lum. However, victory turns into misfortune as Lum starts developing an attachment to our protagonist, deciding to move in with him. As if the consequences of his womanizing ways aren't bad enough, Ataru Daru now must deal with this alien who can be more than a handful. Urusei Yatsura has been one of the more influential titles in the 80s, a trendsetter if you will, in the realm of anime tropes and fan service. I can only wonder how this will fare after being given the modern treatment. We won't have to wait too long to find out as it comes to us this fall. Well, fan art is about to get this flight. When this come out, do not be one to Eminence in Shadow creeps in as the 8th entry on the list. Okay. We all have our moments of delusion. We imagine things and often bask ourselves in grandeur. However, some are more like Sid Gagano, preferring to be the type of character who plays a mastermind behind the shadows, the overlord behind the scenes, if you will. He gets his wish granted. After reincarnating, he takes the role of a mob character, recruiting a group of cute and badass girls into his organization, Shadow Garden. Together, w protagonist. Can't born from his own imagination. Unfortunately, I don't, this, it, it, it sounds like the Isekai could say he got reincarnated, but he recruited a group of girls as his mob? W protagonist? Kevin, things may not be as this smooth is getting as Sid imagined, and even more real and sinister threats lurk past the facade of the Diabolus cult. Shadow Garden versus the Diabolus cult. Oh yeah, I'm watching prevail. this. Join Sid and his team in this anime that's not just your everyday power fantasy. The Eminence of Shadow. I'm watching this. Yeah, that's Family getting a watch. Two is seventh on the list. 
思い上がった西の豚だもん I picked up this manga yesterday. I haven't read it yet. Just when you thought it was all over, Lloyd, Yor, and Anya are coming back to our screens to give us more of the crazy, funny, wholesome, and exciting. Now, that didn't take too long, but it's not surprising given the show's popularity and the stellar reception the fans have given it. Spy Family is easily a contender for one of the more popular anime this year, and those who've watched its first season can see why. It just brings with it such a fresh approach and feel for modern anime. Spy Family is one of those shows you turn on to unwind, and as far as the entertainment goes, it does the job super well. Memes galore and genuinely touch. Moments await those who watch the hottest Dang show. Dang on! Who's up shit out of her? Him. I sure am, and it's going to be one of the top highlights of fall 2022. Okay. What is s h o Bye, family. Part two. In the sixth slot, we have My Hero Academia's sixth season. I heard about y'all, man. It's bot, you go. If, that's a, if, if that a real leak? Is that a real chapter? Did he really get packed like that? Damn. Let me find out Shigaraki smoking his pack. It is all sheer coincidence, but one of the most popular shonen out there will be having its sixth season in the、well, anime anniversary.、Hero. Six years is a lot, and fans have had their share of awesome action, thrilling revelations, and tears. Like, it's just the fandom that、what? makes it worth it. I used to、fully. love my. This、hero. season looks to wrap up the rise of Villain Saga in a big way. Being someone who's read the manga, let me tell you to gear up for the end game. Nothing will be ever the same again once this arc is done. I used to read the manga and everything. The adaptation will do justice to this arc that、Bruh. leads us towards the、I、final stretch of the manga. Yeah. It's pretty much a shoe in that we're getting a full adaptation at this point, so here's hoping for another amazing season as we head to the finish line. I'm seeing a full adaptation to be around eight seasons, so there's that. Six. And if you like what you've seen so far and haven't subscribed yet, help the channel out and hit that subscribe button. Please, dude. It doesn't dude. take too long, and it will do a lot in h e l p i n g the channel. Man, that a million subs. Oh, and you can like. Man, give this man all the support y'all got. This way, I get all of my enemy enemies. Soccer anime? We've seen all shades of sports anime, from the dramatic to the high tension, action packed blockbusters that have come to define this mm, genre in the modern era.、Okay. I don't think we've seen anything as high stakes as this. Frankly, I don't think the characters in universe have either. Here, the most promising strikers in Japan get sent into Blue Lock, a prison like facility where they do battle. The survivor earns a slot to be the national team striker. And as for the losers, they get banned from joining the team. Forever. However,、mm. such a high stakes environment only brings out the best in the strongest players, and one such contender is Yoichi Isagi. Carrying a burden with him, he joins the Blue Lock Project, staking his dreams, his desires, his everything to be the、bro? Japanese team to eternal glory. I don't want to say it, but I feel like it is. Fall, and I'm excited to see how this one's going to turn out. Okay, this looks like it's going to be good. Okay, this is on my list. Up next, we have Earn, to your、yeah. Eternity's second season. This came as a bit of a surprise when it was announced, honestly speaking. I sang a lot of praises for To Your Eternity when I was previewing and recapping it in my seasonal lists for 2021. However, I do admit that the show is quite niche. In spite of the good writing, it just doesn't have the elements for mass appeal to the mainstream audience, so I was surprised that they decided to give this one a second season. Not that I'm complaining though, because I actually really enjoy To Your Eternity. You just don't see supernatural drama like this anymore. Something that's more of a slow burn and is more introspective, for lack of a better term. It's quite creative in its approach, and while the show's at its strongest at the start, I still do have high hopes for season two. There are still、mm. more people and places for Fushi to explore, and along with it, more faces of life that the creator can impart on us. After all, the season two arc starts off slow, but ends up being some of the best material that the manga has so far. And that alone makes me very excited for it. Honestly, I don't know the direction I'm going to take this time. We get ourselves another season of Mob Psycho 100. I heard Mob Psycho was wonderful, bro. Like, bro, I've been so busy, I haven't even gotten a chance to watch anime. I got on my list. I got a list full of anime that I want to watch. I've been just so busy. Now it's like. Looking at Mob Psycho gives me the same sense the time, of nostalgia but... My Hero Academia does. Because what I'm going to start doing. I, I want to start watching and reviewing every episode, every two to three episodes. 
alongside each other right, well, let me, uh, a legacy just let me know if see between that. the two i do like mob psycho more and it's largely due to the more focused scope and the themes that i feel That's resonate broccoli. with me more i'm also not a complete sucker for sakuga but mob psycho also boasts some of the most eye-popping fight scenes both in terms of animation and stakes i really don't mind a third season of it after the amount of immersion and entertainment the first two seasons have given me having to contend with a lot of other big hits this season could do a number on mob psycho's popularity but i'm sure that uh -huh. in terms of the actual content we fans are not going to be disappointed. Studio Bones has always done a great job with the series and I'm expecting an even better adaptation in this climactic season. Second spot belongs to a new face in town, Chainsaw Man. <laughs> snap out of it. Whoa. I had to snap out of that. She's like, that's going to be the top waifu when this anime dropped. I'm telling you, Chainsaw Man is about to be the best anime that ever came out, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Bro, I read the manga, bro. Oh my gosh, one of the best mangas I ever read so far, bro. I kid you not. For months, people have raved about Chainsaw oh my Man. God, Star. I know that. The moment the anime got announced, that whole there was all people clip to talk about. That makes like it an automatic shoe in for the this second spot on this good. list now, doesn't it? After reading the manga, though, it's easy to understand what the hype was all about. Despite Bro, this being is a jump be series, Chainsaw Man amazing. pushes the boundary in terms of violence. Look at Aki. It's a very intense story that's earned its way Look to the him many so much justice. edginess and how unexpected Look it power. is. From the subversion to the sheer magnitude of tragedy, Chainsaw Man is not your usual jump this offering. The anime so version reportedly will have no censoring, so that should be fun to watch. How will the whole of Chainsaw Man translated anime format? Wait, look at Denji. one way to find out. Oh my god. The most relatable, bro. Most relatable MC, I kid you not. Most relatable MC. I can't tell you the most relatable. And number one is an old face making a Bleach away coming back from return. It's Bleach. Bleach it's coming cool. back. <laughs> so you know About to come show out again. Come on, Bleach. Bro, y'all used to they used Bleach used to run a dot swim. Next to Inuasha and well, he they used to run. Bleach used to run Tsunami. Next to Inuasha, Dragon Ball Z, and Yu Hakusho. Much but, can be said about Bleach, and it's a series that's been as polarizing as it's shit, shown bro. in contemporaries in the 2000s. I can't, can't wait for Bleach to come back. Is this legacy and how it opened the gates to a lot of people to enjoy anime in the modern era. After the anime ended a decade ago, people have been clamoring for its return. Half a decade after its ending, the shit. Bleach that anime is coming clean. back with a vengeance, giving us the final arc: Renji. Thousand Year Blood War. Finally, long-time fans will get to experience in anime form a lot of the key revelations in the series, such as Ichigo's origins, the backstory of the Quincy, and the highest stakes war the Shinigami must face so far. The excitement is off the roof for Bleach's grand finale, back. and we only have to wait a couple of months before the beginning of the end. It's in October. That's two months from now. Okay. That's two months from now. And that's it for this video. I'd love to know what your most anticipated title is. I'd love to hear from you. So head down to the comments section and make your voice heard. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Our social media is also open. Bruh. Well, we already know. I, I can't wait for Chainsaw Man. I can't wait for Bleach. I can't wait for all that shit to come out. I'm not waiting for that reincarnated sword shit. I, I'm going to watch that just to watch. Just see what it's about. If I like it, I'll let y'all know. If I don't. I'm giving all the hate in the world, but I'm giving the animators this prop because you actually sit there, had to sit there and animate that shit. But, um, my camera. Fuck. So, um, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what y'all want to do. I'll see y'all next time. Make sure y'all follow my links in my social Twitch. Coming soon. Peace.